today brings us to the shoe columbus ohio it's ohio state and michigan set to do battle in the big ten and hi again everybody i'm brad nestler welcome to a cold blustery columbus ohio again this game has tremendous importance the winner is guaranteed at least a share of the big ten championship get any better and the picture was perfect you saw the smile on his face we're underway nate clements two yards deep will bring it they're gonna Fake the end around, and Nate Clements is in the clear. He's got a man to beat. Across the 40, he might take it coast to coast. Clements down the sideline, stays in bounds. No, he stepped out at the 20-yard line, but it's an 82-yard kick return. What a way to open. Six. He and Jamar Fletcher tops there. Third down and 10. Two tight ends set for Ohio State, trying to take advantage of the big kick return. Belisari. Over the middle. There, Sanders, the tight end, and he's got a first down, I think, at the 10-yard line. I give it to the tailback behind that big fullback. <laughs> Martin lines up the up man in the eye. Wells is a load at tail. They send the tight end in motion, and here it comes. Wells has got the first, and he's got a bunch more. He's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. inches he goes 11 yards for the touchdown Dan Stoltz for the point after and he missed it mark that one down missed extra point the only flaw in the opening two minutes though for Ohio State time we'll develop that as we go right now it's Michigan third down 10 Cooper on a blitz Henson stands in and Terrell and it batted and it's intercepted David Mitchell's got it for the Buckeyes Mitchell going the other way inside the 20 and the ball comes loose Ohio State will have it and Ohio great State's position. great field position is right at the 15 this time the 20 on their first drive here's Combs no gain he may have lost a yard the throw blocks at him when the ball was going the other way here's a two tight end set for the Buckeyes Play action, Belisari rolls, got a man open in the middle, and he missed him. Had his tight end, but he threw it behind him. Your athleticism out here today. That's what you're in there for. If you can run it, take it down, and go. Here's a draw play to Combs. Fumble! Who's got it? Combs may have gotten back on top of it. I think he did. And that'll bring up fourth down and some more shoving going on down there here early in the first quarter. I think what you're seeing early on is to make up for that miss. He was perfect last week against Illinois. From 37. And he's got it right downtown. And he did. And he is one excitable kicker. the 30 on first down Anthony Thomas all wrapped up a yard gain Matt Wilhelm the middle linebacker has made his second tackle already and he just gets better Corners have already shown up big second down and long Thomas on a toss and Anthony Thomas nowhere to hide it's that Ohio State defense that Bob and I talked about to open the game up the Buckeyes third down and ten three wide outs Bellamy joins Walker and Terrell. Buckeyes showing blitz. They're going to bring it. Henson flares it out to Thomas, and he's going to get a first down. Anthony Thomas down the sideline. Cuts back inside the 40. Anthony Thomas inside the 30. Can he take it the distance? He's going to go. Touchdown, Michigan. 70 yards. Screen pass. Hutchinson's excited because he followed his block. Only the 12th reception of the year for the A train. Longest play allowed by Ohio State this season. Looked like a harmless little swing pass, kind of a half a screen. And 70 yards later, it makes it a ball game. Kick is up and good. What a start to this football game. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it. <laughs> there you go. Here's the eight train. He's going to slide out here. Watch as some of the offensive linemen are going to get out in front of him. You know, I've done these games, Brett, where the defense takes over and it's a defense game. Right there. Watch the block right. He's going to read the block. Now one more. Cuts back. 
And now it's a foot race. He outruns him. And a great stiff and arm of Mitchell. A-Train had a chance last year. If he had wanted to, to go into the NFL draft, a lot of people tried to convince him. He's married. He's got a child. Every reason to leave, but he wanted to come back and get his degree because he felt the degree would give insurance to his family for their future. And what an asset. What a decision. What a great individual he's been for this ball club, a great leader on this team. Cassio and Carter in as the wide receivers now. And it's Combs again hitting the backfield. And he's not finding any running room. He's playing on a bad ankle, is Derek Combs, but quite frankly, there are no holes right now to run to. Knows how to take advantage of turnovers as they've done in this game. As they've had 18 scores on 28 opponent turnovers this year. On a second and 11, Belisari throws too wide. Intended for Drew Carter. Incomplete, it'll bring up third down and long. Third down, 11. Cassio's the slot man. He's going to go to Rambo. High, though, and incomplete. Todd Howard was covering, but nobody could get a hand on that one. Good coverage. A over 42, a kick. Boy, they're sure lining everybody up. Finally have them set. captain took a stuffed punt and turned it into a first down. Brandon Williams, I think, is the guy that stuffed it. I've seen more stuff, strange things happen in the first half of this quarter. Right up the middle. And then Williams comes around the outside. Cooper is right there to pick it up. And he turns into a fullback. Well, he didn't get that number for nothing. <laughs> It was a, he was a running back in high school and just kept the number. What a crazy play. First down, Ohio State. Belisari to throw on first down. Intercepted. Penalty markers down, but Larry Foot, the linebacker's going to the other way. But again, a penalty marker at the 40-yard line. So we'll let Jim Lapatina and the officials sort this one out. Throwing where you might expect defensive holding. Yeah, but, but I don't see anything. I, I don't either. Ineligible receiver downfield yeah. on the offense. That penalty was refused. Yeah, there was, there was no contact downfield at all with any of the receivers. So foot with the interception. That's his second of the year. Second down and 12. Back at the 45. Henson, plenty of time. Waits and fires deep. He's got a man open. Terrell, did he make the catch? He did. Had to keep a foot in, and he got it down at the 21 yard line. Only a strong arm baseball type quarterback could have gotten that ball there. That was a long throw. Across the field. Terrell was open only because the flow of the play went the other way. He threw that all the way back across field. Here he is. Clements is covering him, and Clements is going to kind of go away from him. And Doss, number two, they think it's going the other side. He raises his hand and says, hey, if you can get it here, I'll catch it. <laughs> and he could, and he did. That's true. 24-yard pickup. First down, Michigan, at the Buckeye 21. Two tight ends set. And they fake it to Thomas. Henson waits, goes to the end zone. Terrell, touchdown, Michigan. He had two men on him, and he threw another one of those laser shots. Well, only, only a strong-arm quarterback with a lot of time can complete this one. Epstein in for the point after. And Michigan just that quickly takes the lead. Yeah. 
Remaining in the half, Belisari fires, completes it to Provit across midfield at the 49. And this is got the, two timeouts yeah, left. This is the personnel they had in the game late against Illinois last week and going to the tight end side. He still hasn't hooked up with Cascio, who's been a big play man. Here comes a blitz. Belisari throws. German, now Rambo rather with a catch. Canyon Rambo at the 36-yard line. And they're moving it right down the field. Yeah, but they feel a little bit more comfortable not in the huddle doing this here. Here comes a blitz again on first down. This time it might get to him. It does. At the 40-yard line, first sack of the day. Hobson and Wilson are there. And timeout taken by Ohio State with 58 seconds remaining in the half. Trying to get something going here in the final half minute. Trailing 14-9. Out of the shotgun. Blitz on the way. Belisari fires. Rambo's got it. And he's got a first down. As Swanee said, he's going to gut it out and play this drive for sure. And he got 16 yards. Stops momentarily with 22 seconds left in the half. Belisari from the shotgun again. Going deep. Probe it out there. Diving catch. He's got it at the three. Belisari looks better in a two-minute drill than I've seen him all year long. The march and try to take the lead before halftime. First and goal, Buckeyes. Here's Belisari rolling the other way, and that didn't do any good. Dropped back at the nine-yard line. Yeah, timeout. And they get the timeout call. 336. And draw his team to within two. 26-yard field goal attempt from the right hash. And it's up, and it's good. And it hit the flagpole. That's how good it was. Right in the middle. <laughs> For the ones you've talked about, and the ones you think will work the best, that one didn't gain much. Sometimes the ones that can set the tone for the rest of the day, too. Henson, with time, throws complete to Walker. Marquise Walker out to the 33, but short of the first down. He's had some nice long passes. Here's a relatively short third down for either team. Third and three. Play action. Henson with pressure from Cooper. Throws another dart. Out to Walker. First down at 45 yard line. Whenever you've got a gun <laughs> sitting on that shoulder, it sure helps. He's a little bit chippy here as it was to open the game, to open the third quarter. On the first down, tight end. Jopru in motion. Anthony Thomas, finally a little bit of working room. Got into Buckeye territory. Yeah, but, but, Thomas. but Thomas, exactly. He has had nothing. No daylight at all. Eight yards that time. Second down along two. He'll get it again. He's going to spin for the first down. Throws a stiff arm on Nicky and got the first at the 43-yard line. So there's the best two runs of the day probably for Anthony Thomas. Yeah, he is not a scat back. The linemen really want him to get that record. Yeah, they do. A bit more than he wants. Chris Perry now in for him to give him a breather. And Perry will get the call. Here's the two freshmen who they think is going to be sensational somewhere down the line. Got to the 37. Nate Clements is there along with Joe Brown. In the air, Brad. Let's see if they do here. Second down and three. Got a two tight end set. And they'll go with Perry. Puts his head down and got about half the needed yardage. Joe Cooper. Third down along one. Play action. Henson to throw. Got hit as he released it. It's incomplete. Credit that one to Rodney Bailey. He put the lick on Henson. This could be a pooch punt by the field goal kicker. John Navarre, remember, is the holder. Now he comes out of formation and up to center. And they're going to give it to Askew, the fullback. I think he got it. Very close, anyway. I tell you, they've been working on these gimmick plays for, for the last six months. You started warning me about Thursday. And, <laughs> I didn't think we are going to see this many this quick. They've finally gotten to use some of them, and I think the players really enjoy it. Yards. <laughs> Anthony Thomas back in there at the tailback. They fake it to him. Henson wants to go deep. He's got Terrell out there in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown! <laughs> This is just a great adjustment by the University of Michigan. This is the same play they've run all season where the receiver comes across the field. Not this time. Well, broke back to the outside, and the ball was right there. 
There he is at the top. Usually both receivers come across the field. And Ohio State knows that and was looking for it, but not this time. Boy, did he sell Clemens. Epstein's point after is good. Nate Clements, who's had a big day in some respects in special teams, but here, number one beats him to the end zone, and Michigan stretches its lead. The last few weeks, is banged up again. He's out of there right now, comes to the sideline. The Belisari on the roll, pumps and throws. Dangerous, it's intercepted. Picked off by one of the linemen, I think it's Rumashek's got it. James Whitley tipped that ball. Probably shouldn't have been thrown in the traffic it was in, and there's a defensive lineman dream. Yes. <laughs> you know, normally that ball is thrown outside. You don't want to throw it that back inside that late because there's going to be a lot of guys around it. Michigan not, uh, not known for many takeaways and not in many interceptions. That's only the 12th interception of the year. This just doesn't look like it should have been thrown. Well, I guess Rambo was somewhat open. He was open, but there are so many. If the ball does, it does get deflected. Trips out to the near side. Four wide receiver group for Henson. Out of second and five. And Andrew's going to pull it up. Wants to go long. Got hit as he threw. And Marquise Walker still made the catch. I think he was trying to go to Terrell long, and he got Walker short. Well, he wasn't trying to go to Walker, that's for sure. I mean, he was pasted by Clinton Wayne. He, he was let go of the ball. He was fortunate. Very fortunate. Up the middle, there's a blitz on the outside. Mitchell comes on the outside. That ball is just like almost like a duck end Shut over in. The result was not what Ohio State wanted. First and ten at the 12. Anthony Thomas now straight up the middle. Got to maybe the eight-yard line. Joe Cooper is there. Second down and six. Jopper in motion. Here's Thomas. Hit at the five and down. Third down at two. Here's the stretch play. Thomas, the Buckeyes, string it out and drop him. So they answered the call of their fans. Yeah, Bailey on that side did a great job of not uh, allowing. Epstein, who just tucked it in the lead right upright. I thought that was going to hit the pipe. He's got two catches on third down today now. I, I haven't seen him go straight down the field. Anything, no, nothing deep. He's got the most speed probably on the field. Oh, sorry. Okay. Dangerous throw, tipped and almost picked off. That was close. Todd Howard got a hand on that. Whitley came on the blitz. That's what hurried that throw. So it's second down and ten. Check him out here. He's getting in the track stance again and thinking about it. He's either going to cover the guy, he's going to blitz, and that's what Belisar is worried about. He drops back to cover. This one is intercepted by Julius Curry. He's going to take it home. Julius Curry, touchdown, Wolverine. <laughs> Julius Curry just read that one like a comic book and took it 50 yards. Michigan defense kind of baited the throw, and they got it. And Curry made the play. Curry sees it all the way. Almost overran it. They've been running that little curl to Rambo, and this time they had in and out coverage. Had him double covered, and Curry made the play. He's been picked off three times now today as Epstein adds the point after. And Ohio State at home in some serious danger right now because Michigan has stretched it out to 31 12. The defensive backs know it. I mean, those guys know they're out there with these guys. They know he can't run. So he, they were just sitting on that curl route. Here's Wells looking for a place to run, and he can't find any room either. Diggs is there from his linebacker position to make the stop. Well, it went from it went from a from 95,000 or whatever cheering fans to a few of them starting to boo. That's right. Long. It allowed only 21 turnover points before today. 17, as we just showed you, and that one thrown into some traffic. Oh boy, here they come. Nice play by Romashek. Right from the shotgun. Three-man line. 
Here comes a delayed blitz, though. Belisari in trouble. Got away from one. Didn't get away from Diggs, who had a good series defensively. Yeah, it's a good call by uh, Herman, the defensive coordinator. Showed a three-man line, which is something different. Blitz two of the uh, safeties. Good guys on the punt coverage team. Unless you're the snapper. And he was. And he wishes he hadn't been. Throw down the middle is complete. Good throw to Vanez Provit. And it's going to be close to a first down. He trots out to the near side. He's caught some passes today, but he's more of a decoy than anything else with a bad knee. Belisari running. Got a man open over the middle and got it to him. Drew Carter. And Carter's down inside the 40 near the 38-yard line. Third and long has been the story of the day. Ohio State. Sorry, and a throw across the middle. Cascio makes the catch. Fumble. And he's down, though. And Cascio shaking up. He got necktied. Uh, championship games in the Southeastern Conference and the Big 12. Well, sorry. Dancing around. Finds an open man. Got it to probe it down at the 16-yard line. Man, that's a nice catch down there. A little bit, too. And, of course, Washington. Rose Bowl hopes a lot. Same with Oregon and Oregon State. Down the middle, tip pass, and caught by Ohio State. Prove it again on a pass intended for Sanders was tipped by Diggs, and he went up and got it. The defensive back had his back to him when he wasn't doing anything, but he was still blocking him out. Wells has the only Ohio State touchdown today. He's got another one now. Jonathan Wells, touchdown Ohio State. Two yards out. And there's still hope in Columbus. And he's got second and ten. Hanson getting a little bit of pressure. Almost dropped the ball, and now they'll drop him. Well, Ohio State's not done breathing yet. They're trying to get back into it, and this is the way they do it. This is the strength of their ball club. And I'm going to call him by their first name. That works. Yeah. Here's Hanson. Big play here for the Ohio State defense. Lofts one out for Terrell, and Clemens got the best of that one. Out of bounds. Knocked it away. But the momentum is beginning to change a little. The crowd is getting back in. Four wide receiver group for Steve here from the gun. And a guy wide open out of the backfield. Jonathan Wells on the run. Wells broke a tackle or two. Another. And Wells has got it to the 21 yard line. Third and seven. Carter to the near side, Rambo to the top of your screen. Belisari waits and fires. Rambo's got it. Touchdown! It's not over. Looking good. It's a five-point game. Thomas just got a big first down here to keep a drive going. They're just going to keep feeding him. That time, he's fed his lunch, though, by Cooper and Wilhelm. Set Purdue, they'd go to Pasadena. Henson sets in the pocket, going deep for Terrell. Too deep. Incomplete. Clements and Terrell again, number one and number 20, joined at the hip today. Applications. It is third and ten. Ohio State's got to have a stop here. Here they come. Blitz from Cooper coming. Henson stands in for Terrell again. Again, Clements is there and breaks it up. Only one catch in the second half for Terrell. That's a long way to travel. Play action for Belisario. Sidesteps the rush. Gonna go deep. Rambo's open. Out of bounds. He's out of bounds. He was open behind his man, but... But the motion of running and throwing. Rambo has made three big catches on third down, though, today. Let's see if they try to look to him on third and ten. Belisari in trouble. Lofts one across the middle. And not quite a first down for Wells. Boy, he was crawling and scrapping and fighting. But he's about, I think he's about a yard short. Now, fourth down. They're three out of four on fourth down today. They need another one here. Wells, I don't think so. The Michigan sideline doesn't think so either. I don't know. I, I don't know about that one. You got three minutes. You know, it's, it, it's you can be second guessed either way on this one. You got three timeouts left. 
I don't know. It's, um, it's a tough call. Still unpiling bodies, but I think he's farther back than he was before the snap of the ball. For sure, if you go for it in this area and don't make it, the game is over. I think both coaches already know from, from the coaches upstairs that are looking at this. There it is. Length of the football short. Michigan takes over. Michigan with the ball now. Everything going their way. And here's Anthony Thomas breaking tackles. Again, falling down before he gets out of bounds. Team by going to the Rose Bowl. And it appears neither one of these teams are going there either. Yes, Ohio State comes up with a defensive miracle. Anthony Thomas up the middle, spinning his way down to the five-yard line. It's first and goal. Pass receptions today. First and goal, Michigan. And here's Thomas again. They'd like to get him another touchdown because he's closing in on Ty Wheatley's all-time touchdown record. He's already broken. Anthony Thomas. And he stopped short. Two tight end set. It's Anthony Thomas again. And he's hit and stopped again. Nice job by the Buckeyes defense. Matt Wilhelm met him in the hole, the middle linebacker. Clements was there. Goss was as well. And played a very smart and controlled football game. You very seldom see that kind of performance by a quarterback in this environment for the very first time. And I think it was critical, not just to the performance of the team, but to the attitude of this football team to be able to control the ball and move it in key situations down the field and not get down early in this ball game. He's back out there, Swanee, because they're not going for the field goal. They made Ohio State think they would. And it's Henson rolling around to the end. If he scores, it's over, and it is. Touchdown, Wolverine. The guy that Lynn Swan was just talking about calmly with the play fake, the bootleg tucked it on his hip and skips home for a Michigan win. Big time play and a big time call. There's the smile that Lloyd had three and a half hours ago when he took to the field because he was that excited and always has been in his 22 times being involved in this matchup. And it's going to be a happy trip back to Ann Arbor. I love this call, Bob. Fake it up the middle. Bowler number 58 has got containment. He never thought that they would try this play. And the, and the mobility and the athleticism of the quarterback allows you to do this type of thing. Gutsy call. Lloyd did not want to kick the field goal for fear. Maybe he got it blocked. This puts it away. Again, the smile of the coach tells the whole story. And his quarterback who said, they judge you on two things if you're the Michigan quarterback. One is winning championships. The second is beating Ohio State. And much to the chagrin of the Ohio State defenders and Bullard who is uh, being consoled on the sideline. I think that's Reggie Germany maybe over there trying to make him feel better. They'll have a fun rest of the afternoon and tonight. On the way back to Michigan. Elisari flags down, running for his life again. And now finds a little seam, shows that speed. Elisari cross midfield. Remember, penalty markers were down a long time ago at the line of scrimmage. That was not a first down, so Michigan will take over. Well, with Michigan's win here, that'll be uh, five wins in the last six years. Mm hmm. Uh, the game that um, the Buckeyes win one more a couple of years ago here at the, uh, at the stadium. Michigan's going to look back at the season and say, geez, we lost one by three, another one by three, and one by one. Yeah. And they'll finish up eight and three. And they'll be considered co-champions of the Big Ten, but they won't be going to the Rose Bowl. That will belong to Purdue if they beat Indiana. And there's the final knee. There'll be one more play. Don't forget a lot of great regional action yet to come, including the Purdue game, Purdue and Indiana. And Lloyd Carr, as Bob just said, five of the last six. That's pretty impressive. 
That's what keeps the hometown folks happy. And two ten and one doesn't. And John knows that. He knows that you get judged by this game. His team played well, but uh, the Wolverines played better.